Lucas, Luke 19. And Yahusha entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zakai, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Yahusha, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Yahusha came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zakai, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at your house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zakai stood and said unto Adonai, Behold, Adonai, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Yahusha said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Avraham. For the son of Adam is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And as they heard these things, he added and spoke a parable, because he was nigh to Yerushalayim, and because they thought that the kingdom of Yahuwah should immediately appear. He said, therefore, A certain nobleman went into a far country, to receive for himself a kingdom, and to return. And he called his ten servants, and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Adonai, your pound has gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, good servant, because you have been faithful in a very little, have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Adonai, your pound has gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be also over five cities. And another came, saying, Adonai, behold, here is your pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared you, because you are an austere man. You take up that you laid not down, and reap that you did not sow. And he said unto him, Out of your own mouth will I judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gave not you my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own, rather my own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that has ten pounds. And they said unto him, Adonai, he has ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which has, shall, which has shall be given. And from him that has not, even that he has shall be taken away from him. But those my enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay before me. And when he had thus spoken, he went away, ascending up to Yerushalayim. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Beth Pag and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his Talmudim saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering 
ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never man sat. Loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, why do ye loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because Adonai has need of him. And they that were sent went their way, and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, Why loose ye the colt? And they said, Adonai has need of him. And they brought him to Yahusha. And they cast their garments upon the colt. And they set Yahusha thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the Talmudim began to rejoice and praise Yah with a loud voice for all the mighty works that he had seen, rather that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that comes in the name of Yahuwah, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Parashim from among the multitude said unto him, Rabbi, rebuke, rebuke your talit, rather, rebuke your Talmudim. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, at least in this your day, the things which belong unto your peace, but now... They are hid from your eyes. For the days shall come upon you that your enemies shall cast a trench about you and compass you round and keep you in on every side and shall lay you even with the ground and your children within you. And they shall not leave you in you one stone upon another because you knew not the time of your visitation. And he went into the temple and began to cast out at them that sold therein, and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him and could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to hear him.